What up guys, The Fighting Therapist here. And for today's video, I got you guys a Gymshark haul. Now I know there's a lot of these online, but what there isn't when it comes to Gymshark haul is someone that is six foot six, insanely tall, weird ass build where my legs are all the way up here. So I have really long legs, kind of short torso, and my arms are insanely long. So I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see that maybe if you have some type of body type like me, uh, to try on some of the clothes, see how they fit. I'm kind of wearing some of them right now. We're gonna go through what I have, how it fits, and then what I like and what size I suggest for you. Don't forget guys to please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come up. And don't forget to like the video because the more likes that I get, the more chance other people get to see it and the more YouTube, the algorithm puts my video higher up so people can actually view this and see the video. And just a quick little side note before we jump into today's video, I'm not sponsored by Gymshark. I don't have any affiliation with Gymshark. It's just, I like their line, it's good on price, and I just want to show you guys what it looks like on a tall person. Just so you guys know a little bit of like what size I am, my waist is a 34. Uh, my length in leg length, I'd say, for like pants, I'm usually a 36, 35. Sometimes with stretchy material, I fit in a 34, but like not really. I kind of look like I'm wearing like really high sweatpants, but I'm a 36. Chest wise, I think I'm like 40 something. I don't really measure, but I usually wear either a large or extra large t-shirts depending on how stretchy they are and how the length is where the seam comes on top of my shoulder. And for shorts, I usually order a large because that's what size fits around my waist. And for pants, with the Gymshark, I've ordered large, extra large, and double XL. And we're gonna go through which one fit the best and what I think you guys should get. All right, so. For the gym show I call, this is pretty much all the clothes that we have. We got the critical sweatpants in black, critical sweater in black, critical shorts in gray, critical shorts in black, pretty much all the critical lines. Maximize shorts in uh, beige-ish color. We have the original Gymshark tee in like a turquoise type color. I think Revival shorts in green for uh, five inches, so like a little bit shorter. Dark bluish color. Bolded logo. I have this in red, same one in gray, and the critical black t-shirt. We have another blue tee, it's more like a performance tee in blue. And then the last item is the Maximize in red. So. For the first pair, we got the Maximize shorts in red. Now, like I said, I'm usually a 34 and on the Gymshark website, large is a 34 when it comes to the waist. Um, the shorts fit pretty nice when you're moving around and like squatting. So like when I'm shadow boxing and everything for my fights, they don't come like too high. And if they do, it's pretty, pretty comfortable. Like it feels really, really nice. I'm able to train in them. I'm able to relax in them. They're really nice with the, with the the core to tie as you guys can like see here kind of pretty much like finished it off with a little piece because i find some shorts that don't have this these pieces are breaking off or they even like get caught inside and it's hard to catch it but super comfy shorts i really like them i really like how it's thinner at the bottom and the material is really really soft and there's a stretch to them so when it comes to you like coming down in like those squat positions or doing like anything like that it's very very comfortable um, we're gonna match this with one of the tops right over here. Usually when I like to take the red pair, I either match it with either like the gray or red, but just for sakes, we're gonna go red on red. And we're gonna do it just like this. So, put this one away. So what I really like about this shirt is it scoops, and I have a thing for like scoop shirts, but it's not too long. So like I said, my waist is around here. And from the pants where the waistline is, the shirt's really nice. The, these, Material of shirts or any Gymshark shirt, I usually get an extra large. Like I said, I have really long arms and the seam on the shirt comes really nice to where my shoulder is. So it's not too big. It's not too big like on the biceps either. It actually fits like very, very nice. There is a stretchy material to it. This one I wouldn't really train in, but if I were to do like a yoga workout, let's say mobility, walking, a hike, something like that, I would definitely put this shirt on. And it goes really well. I'm not really a person to wear like matchy matchy colors and like those tracksuit stuff, but this one fits really nice. So if any of you guys are like super tall, 6'6", six, six, long arms, your torso is not too long, don't worry about it. I would go with an extra large. 
A large is a little bit like too tight and you're kind of restricted in the range of motion. But really, really nice outfit. And like I said, it's the same color in gray, just different shirts. So I like to play around with it, but these shirts are super comfortable and I think very affordable. This shirt is like 30 bucks. So you pick up a couple and like you're good to go. Just so you guys kind of get a picture of like how these look. I know they're the same short, but sometimes cream is like a little different for some people. So I like this color because it's not, the beige is really, really nice. Like I said, it's the same fit. You know, sometimes different materials have, like they're almost made differently, like blacks and grays or sometimes, these are pretty much exactly the same. Very, very comfy, very nice. Like I would be careful when it comes to stains, but that's self-explanatory. But super, super comfy shorts. And like I said, it works really nice when you're wearing these two colors together, red, the gray, anything really works together. But what I like to do with this one, because it's more of a loose, relaxed fit, is I like to wear their Gymshark tank tee that they have, which is pretty much this one. And it fits like really nicely, pretty much just like this. So yeah, kind of fits like this. Super nice shirt, really comfortable. Again, this is a extra large, right? Yeah, I'm asking the cameraman because this was his shirt and it didn't fit him so well, so he gave it to me. But super nice, it's not too long at the bottom where it's kind of floating around and you look like you have a little bit of a belly. It's really nice, it covers the nips, right? A lot of some of these like tees, they don't block the nips, right? Oh, little nip slip right there, oh, little nip slip right there, right? So the nips are good in the back, like it's a stringer, so it fits really, really nicely. Um, this one is only for weightlifting. I would never wear this boxing or MMA or anything like that. Just for weightlifting or from around the house about to go to the gym, this is where I'll pretty much use this one. And I'll use this as an underlayer. What I like too is on the scoops. I know a lot of the shirts, when they have the scoops, they don't have like a seam here, right? So less chance of it like ripping off. A lot of the shirts just have like that cut without a seam to block it from ripping or stretching even more. So really, really good shirt made by Gymshark. Really comfortable, it's light and it's stretchy too which again, really helps in the gym when you're weightlifting. And I've trained in this and it felt really good. So just so you guys know, extra large if you wanna get this and you're kind of my size. So one of the shirts that I like to match with like these shorts is the critical one. I'm only gonna wear one of them though. I feel like Superman right there. So this is their critical top. Like I said, I have one in green. Very more of a tighter fit. This is an extra large as well. So it doesn't go as low as the scoop tees, but it's a tighter fit. You can even see on the arm, tighter fit on the arm. The lace that comes for the shoulder is exactly where it should be, which is my like AC joint, like that bony part that sticks out of your bunk. Try not to be too sciencey here, but right there. So it's very, very comfortable. This I would definitely train in and I would definitely wear as um, a shirt for work as well. So if you guys are therapists, physiotherapists, trainers, this is a really great set to wear if you're gonna be working or training. Uh, boxing, MMA, wrestling, I would definitely wear this shirt as well. It's not like a Under Armour fit, but it's loose and fit at the same time. Very comfortable, perfect length. It doesn't like ride up or anything. Really, really nice shirt. And I have this one in green, so this I'm pretty sure is about 30, 35 bucks. Like don't quote me on it, go on the website, check out their critical line. There's a lot from there, but I would definitely get those. I like to match as well with the critical top is their sweatpants, which we're gonna get into right now. Comfy, really, really nice. So these are their critical sweatpants. Um, I bought a large, so their large is a 34 waist, but a 32 length in like leg. But as you guys can see, I have it pretty much where I would wear my sweatpants, which is right under my hip bone. Really comfy along the waist. It's not too tight on the legs. It does narrow down in the, uh, when it gets to your legs and calf, which makes it really comfortable. Super, super stretchy material. Like I said, you can pretty much do any movement here when it comes to fighting or kicking. So if you wanna, let's say you're shadow boxing, you wanna get a sweat, these are great pants. Um, I did also order their 
Maximize sweatpants, which I did get in this color, but I got it in their sweatpants uh, in an extra large. And then my dad got the Maximize red pair in a double XL, so which was a great chance for me to try large, extra large, and double XL. And I can tell you, double XL is the perfect length for guys that have long legs like I do but it's just too big on the waist. Like no matter how much you tie it, I hate when you tie sweatpants and they get like this crumpled feel because you're too small on the waist, but you're trying to tie them as tight as they can. The extra large, they do fit, I'd say a bit nicer when it comes to some of the material leg, but again, it's too big on the waist because their extra large go up to a 38. And if you're a 34, 33, like when I'm cutting weight and I'm shredded, I'm at a 33 waistline and it makes no sense. Um, the maximized jogger though, did fit like this one. So the length in the maximized jogger, so this is the bottom of my leg and it comes to a right about here. I don't mind wearing my sweatpants like that. And for the price they have and how the pants feel, super stretchy, your pockets are good. There's no back pockets, fits really nice. I would definitely get the critical pants if you're tall. I would definitely get the maximized sweatpants if you're tall as well. And I did order another pair, which was their Crest joggers. It was more of like a relaxed, thicker feel. For me, I'm sure some of you guys will like that. Don't order that. If you're tall like me, the Crest were um, super short. Like if I show you guys how it looked on me, it was like right up here. That's how the Crest sweatpants looked on my legs so made way too small when it comes to the inseam um, the waist fit fine because all of their waists are 34 but for lengthwise no bueno if i do order more of their sweatpants in other styles i will let you guys know how it feels but for if you're tall like me that inseam is 34 to 36 like i said i'm roughly a 36 definitely get the critical definitely get the maximized sweatpants and when I did talk to the Gymshark customer service, they said that their tapered fit sweatpants that I haven't ordered yet, they're made longer when it comes to the M scene. So that might be something I'm gonna order later on, but very comfy, super nice. Definitely can train in, can work in, physiotherapist, trainer. You guys can squat in this. You could train your clients in this. Multitude of things you could do with these. Um, to tie this all in one piece, and I'm gonna look goth, I'm gonna wear their critical sweater, head to toe, black on black on black. You know how we do. All right, so their critical sweater. Again, all their sweaters, I get an extra large, like I'm insanely tall and long, so I got an extra large, pretty much, and the fit is perfect. So their critical line is everything that's a little bit tighter and more fitted. This is their sweatpants. It kind of goes with the uh, shirt that we just saw. So you see like that scoop that comes at the bottom of the t-shirt, kind of like right here. That's what we have going on right here with a little bit of like that scoop feel. Sweater is really comfy. It's nice along the arms. Same thing when my arms are extended this way or if my arms are like extended this way, the cuff at the bottom is perfect. It's exactly where I want it. It's not too long. It's a little bit fitted and I like wearing these types of sweaters when I'm training. So if I'm gonna be boxing, throwing elbows and doing my fighting stuff, or if I'm just going for like a jog, I really do like this. This is like with the hood up, like this, right? Super, super nice. They have a little bit of a fit inside, so it fits really nicely. You know some of those sweaters that just like keep falling off? I think the string that's inside is a little weighted, so it kind of holds the sweater down. So it's a really, really nice fit and really comfortable. And this is pretty much their black on black on black critical line. To switch things up, we're gonna go to their arrival shorts. I said revival before, they're the arrival shorts. They're the shorter version. So I got the five inch um, shorts rather than their, I think normal seven inch one. I like my shorts a little shorter just because when I'm doing Muay Thai training, um, it's a lot easier for me to throw like knees that's why I get the five inch shorts. Not because I have big quads, because I'm not a bodybuilder. I don't have big quads. So. so, these are the arrival shorts. I said I have green and I have the blue one. I'm just gonna show you guys the green one. 
So these are super comfy. The waist is perfect. I got these in a large. Like again, said their large is for a 34 waistline on all their shorts. The string in the middle is kind of just like a typical stretchy string with a little bit of a knot on the side, but the shorts are true to size when it comes to waistline. So I never even tie them. I just have to put the shorts on. Like I said, these are five inches, so they come mid quad and I have really long legs and it's pretty good. Like they're not too high. Like when I wear my um, silkies, like your um, running shorts. So these are super comfy. I can do all the movements I need when it comes to all my fighting stuff. Very comfortable and I do like the color, that colors that they have, like the lime green or neon orange. It's just like vibrant colors, especially summer's coming, spring's coming. Fighters in general or just me, I really like these colors and they're super comfy to train it. There are two pockets on the side. So there's one here with a mesh inside and it's zipper tied, which is perfect because if I'm running or something, I'll see on both sides, and there's no back pockets on the back. But if I'm running or something or doing a drill with my partner, I really don't want any pockets open because you could potentially pull on the pants. So having the ability to close them and just do what you need to do really helps a lot. So these definitely a great buy. I believe they're 20 or 25 bucks. Definitely worth the price when it comes to shorts. Um, yeah, so if you guys are gonna get this pair, get them in large. If you want the seven inch, don't get the five inch. So you play with like pretty much what you want. We're gonna tie these in to another shirt that I'm gonna put on right now. So this is the Arrival shirt. I didn't know the name before, I got it right now. So Arrival shorts, Arrival shirt. This one is very comfy. It's more of a little bit of a looser fit, but this is an extra large. Perfect for my size of six foot six guy. The seam on the shoulder comes in the perfect place of where you would want it. Um, really, really looser fit, very light. So if you're going for like those heavy training sessions, boxing, Muay Thai, shadow boxing, um, I wouldn't, no, I would wear this to drill. I wouldn't wear this too much to go full on like jujitsu training. If you're gonna wrestle, that's fine. It's just with the jujitsu training, Sometimes when you guys are doing moves, your feet get stuck and pull on the shirt and it's kind of annoying. You would need more of a tighter fit. Gymshark has a whole line of like performance, tighter fit gear, compression gear. But just for anything where it comes to light technique, light movement, shadow boxing, moving around, or you guys probably don't really do a lot of fighting and you just wanna go for a nice run, weightlifting session, something like that. Yoga, this is definitely what I would wear. In the back, super comfy, really, really nice, easy fit. Really simple top, guys, definitely worth it. So if you wanna match these two up, you can, or if you wanna match this shirt with some of the other stuff we wore today, I would definitely do it as well. And to finish today off, we're gonna wear the last short of the day, which is gonna be their critical shorts, and we'll wear the gray one, not the black one, because, you know, we were wearing black before. Be right back. <sighs> Smooth criminal right there, huh? Yeah. All right, so this is their critical shorts. Like I said, just like their whole line, everything is made just a little bit tighter. I got a large, again, they're a little longer. Same as the Maximi shorts, they're a lot thinner when you come closer to the bottom. So it's thicker here, gets thinner at the bottom. Still very stretchy material and you could still move. Even if they ride up, it's still comfortable and it don't ride too much here where you just have like a lump in your crotch. But very comfortable. Super, super nice. The fit on the side is really great. The strings, again, they do add this like little finish to make sure that it's a lot easier for you to grab the lace. Two pockets, fairly deep, comfortable. The material isn't as soft as the Maximize, but that's okay. These are meant more for like for performance as well. So great pair of shorts. I got these in black and in gray. I would get other colors as well, but this is what I got. Um, and very nice fit. I would definitely use this for a lighter training day. Um, I'll use it even for a heavier training day. Maybe not too much of the partner stuff, but a lot of like my own stuff, maybe a nice mobility yoga session day. If I wanna do a lot of stretching, if I wanna do a lot of technical work, I'll wear this one. Super, super easy fit. And like I said, with the Gymshark line guys, you guys could wear it for training, for work, 
and just for relaxing. And like it, the spectrum of what you can use their clothes for is really great. The price is really fair. And if you spend over a hundred dollars, it's free shipping and it comes within one to two days. So like that whole brand that they have and everything that they do and ship for price, for how fast you get the materials, for how good their customer service is. Their clothes is really good. If you have a problem, if you need to return stuff, it's awesome, top of the line. And I give them a huge like credit and shout out for that. But this was their clothes. It's how it looks on a six foot six individual that's tall and my body frame is more athletic fighter. So I'm not like the typical Gymshark Hall guys or just YouTubers that are bodybuilders or fitness guys wearing their clothes. And when I was searching for clothes on YouTube to find out what would fit me the best, there was no one that was six foot six tall. Everyone was like 5'10", 5'7". Six, six, one. I think the biggest guy I saw so far was like six, two. So see here, I'm almost hitting the ceiling. So if you guys just want to get a general idea of how it looks, this is how it looks. If you guys want to check out Gymshark, go check out Gymshark, go on their website, check everything else. Um, but that's it. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very different from the videos I do post on my channel. This is not going to be a freaking one. I just thought with what's going on, I would switch things up a bit and give you guys some idea of what to get. Maybe you guys want to go buy some clothes because spring's coming and you're going to spend a whole bunch of time cleaning out all your old clothes because you have the time to do it now and you want to get a whole bunch of new ones. So go do that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy. That's it, Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee.